Hey, Todd Berry from ToddBerry.com. Do you ever feel overwhelmed, like you have way too much to do? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, you know, I've, I, I, this is a common issue among people that I coach and mentor and see who are trying to accomplish different things or people who are um, a little more type A. Um, and so there, there are lots of reasons you could feel overwhelmed, a lot of ways to be feel overwhelmed, right? Dealing with things we don't know how to deal with makes us overwhelmed. Um, encountering situations where we lack knowledge makes us feel overwhelmed. Having too much change at once makes us feel overwhelmed. I'm gonna talk specifically today about self-inflicted overwhelm as opposed to life happens overwhelmed. So those, those two are the most common, right? Life happens overwhelmed is where you have just too many things that you are interconnected with that are that are challenging at the moment and it's just whacking your emotional bandwidth right you just like there's just you just it's like hard to deal with and and you can tell i've had plenty of this in my life but um in those circumstances you just have to recognize you got to take a deep breath you got to do what you can do and recognize that this is a season and it'll pass um but that's the nature of a life happen circumstance. The self-inflicted is a little, a little more common and a little easier to deal with. As a matter of fact, if you get the self-inflicted overwhelm under control, there'll be way less of the life happens overwhelm or when the life happens scenarios come in to play, you will have an easier time dealing with them. So a very, very simple strategy for this. So, the the self-inflicted overwhelm is really comes from overcommitment, right? They, and, and overcommitment tends to come from a lack of prioritizing and planning. It can come from making a decision that you hadn't thought through the um, the degree of what was involved, right? So that 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 can happen, right? And if you're a person of um, integrity, you're going to follow through on that commitment, so you're going to feel overwhelmed because you will have stretched yourself, right? And most entrepreneurs have this experience more than once where we take on a project that we just totally missed the boat in judging how much it was going to take. Um, and then we're in the midst of it and we gave our word and we said we we're going to do it, whether we said it to ourselves or someone else, and we're going to do it anyway, so we deal with that period. But here's how to deal with this in general. And so it always comes back to a lack of planning and prioritizing in the first place because that's how you end up saying yes to things that you shouldn't say yes to. And so oh, after you do that too much, right, then you are in a period of time where you're way overcommitted and you feel like, oh my gosh, right? And, and the, the way you notice this is you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not getting anything done or I'm not getting things done the way I believe I should be getting them done. So first and really important, don't beat yourself up here because this is where we say I'm so dumb or I, you know, how could I have done this or that's that that doesn't help you. <laughs> that's not that's not helpful. Right? That just makes you feel worse about it. Um, the simple way to go about this is to step off the merry-go-round, which is hard to do because at this particular juncture when you're dealing with this. You're really stressed, right? You know, like you're trying to get it done, and you know the last thing you want to do is sit down. <laughs> and that's the most important thing you can do. You need to step back. You need to really look at your priorities, right? and and I mean, look at what is truly most important. Not where you're spending your time, not what you're doing. What really matters to you, because this is part of the stress: is operating on things, being overcommitted on things that actually don't matter so much. And so you look at your priorities, and then you look at the roles that you are playing. What are the things you are committed to, right? A role by definition is anywhere where you, there's an expectation and you have a responsibility. That, that's what a role is. And so you look at all the roles that you're playing and then you figure out what to, what you remove. That, that's what you have to do. If you're feeling overwhelmed, then your cup is too full, right? And so no amount of running is going to make that cup any less empty. You have to step back for a second and figure out what to pour out of the cup and because there's a real good chance that some of the things that you are committed to were things that actually don't matter anymore or aren't really significant enough in your life to stay committed to those things and, and, and do them justice. And so you have to look at, again, look at your priorities, look at the roles, look at what you can remove, and then going forward, 
operate from that perspective. What are the priorities that matter? What are the roles that make that happen? And then that's what you plan. And then if there's space left over, then you can fill that with other things if you choose. But first you have to create space and this is exactly how you do it. So I hope that was helpful. If you need a little more clarity, you can reach out to me. Um, you know, again, I, I, this comes up a lot with my coaching clients. So if you need a little coaching, reach out. If you have a question, just shoot it over to me, but you got to step back and you got to reprioritize. That is the key. All right. Have a great day.